I'm here with the head coach of Excelsior High School, um, Coach Gilbert. Um, talk me through the game. What happened today? Ah, I mean, we just we just didn't manage to win today. We know we had to win. I think we started off okay. We still, you know, and I mean, credit must give must be given to the opposition as well. But I didn't think we were patient enough. We we, we tried to rush the game a lot of times, and I mean, when we were patient, we were creating openings, and it was a difficult task to get the young men to to play how we really wanted to play today because I know they really wanted to to make themselves and the school proud. Um, they really wanted it. But in, in, in that now, I think they were a little bit impatient in stages and tried to rush the game a little bit. Um, and um, and so in, in another good thing, we, we went ahead, a brilliant goal from, from Richard Andrews. Mm -hmm. And um, second half, we went as disciplined when we came out and, and tight enough in defence, since we let in a goal. And I mean, it was always a couple tasks after that. But we were still, we were always in the game. Um, but credit must be given to Celestia. I mean, uh, they, they played well. True. You, know, you didn't lose on the day, them. coach. I'm coming into the game, you needed to score though. You were one goal down. What did you say to the boys before the game? I mean, to be honest, we, 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 it's unfortunate that we didn't get a point out of the last game. You know, um, And that's where I think we lost this tie in the last game. We created quite a number of opportunities. I mean, good goal scoring opportunities. And didn't make use of it. You know, um, and then they, 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 they make use of the um, opportunity in the first tie, and that made a difference. Um, we know that we had to score, but we, we didn't want to make it seem as if that we, go, we, we want to rush into the game. You know, we still had a plan how we're going to break them down because we, we, we did this in the last game and it worked for us. It's just that we, did, we didn't convert. So, you know, and then of course we got the go ahead goal. Um, and then we were trying to manage the game, second half. I, I didn't think we were sharp as we should when we came out in the second half. We were a little bit too flat. And I mean, they, they, they ran with the momentum after that. And of course, you know, when you score and adrenaline and the momentum, it was difficult to break them down. And yeah, forgive them credit. They did well. They played well. All right, coach, I can see that the boys are down. Um, give me a message for the Excelsior supporters who wanted more from this Manning Cup season. And what will you say to the boys after today? I mean, I'm proud of them. They gave me what they had, they had today. I mean, tomorrow's my birthday and I promise that they're going to give me a good birthday present. But I know the child. And I think that's why some of them are so emotional, you know, but um, it is what it is. Um, some of them are young, you know, um, there's still quite a number of players who have another year to play. Um, there's still a World Cup to play for, so mm -hmm. we're going to give it our best shot and, and, and hopefully we can still take home a silver win. Alright, cool. Season not quite over, the World Cup as you mentioned. What do you hope to do in that competition? I mean, all the way. I mean, and, and I'm sure this will be a motivation for me. We really don't want to leave them to and let's hope that they can bounce back on this. All right, coach, thank you for talking to us.